ladies and gentlemen, uh, Sexiest Man Alive in the Universe is back with another video. Now, first of all, I just want to apologize again to WWE Central for kind of staying a little distant from, you know, posting anything on there or making any wrestling videos. I apologize for that. This kind of bonus footage for people who like food. If you're in this camera right now and you like food, man, I'm about to show y'all some badass food that I just put together. And I want to get y'all's opinion on it. If you like, you can try it at home. And y'all are about to wet your fucking pants right now when you see what Steve Rose has just put together. Poor man's food, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going out tonight. I'm not going to eat out tonight on this beautiful Saturday. I want to save a little money, save a little cash. So I spend a lot of money when I go out, man. I need to you know, kind of cut back on that and... So I've been learning how to make some things at the house, you know what I'm saying, and just kind of putting that together. So I want to go ahead and show you guys two dishes I just put together right now, just off the dome. And I'm going to let y'all take a look at it, and I'm going to taste it, and let's see what we got. So come on. All right, so this first dish right here, it's cheese with the bologna and eggs. Now put that all together. Now you probably wonder what the sauce is. It's paste picante sauce medium. Because I like a little spice kick. So we're gonna dip this bologna here inside of the inside of the salsa. Let's try it. Mmm. Man, your days of ketchup on eggs are over. You get yourself some paste picante sauce. Man, you are good to go. I'm in heaven now. This food is really good. Even the eggs, you could dip the eggs in the paste picante. We've got eggs, you got cheese, you got bologna, and you heat it up in the microwave in about a minute and a half. It's really good. I enjoy it. I mean, you don't even need the picante, but the picante gives it a little hint. Now, the picante comes in multiple flavors. They come in like a thick paste, and you got a thin paste, and you got mild. I got medium, and then you got hot. Hot is really up there. It's going to kick your sinuses up. So I had to get medium, which was a size down. But this is my eggs. Uh, Y'all try it at home. Just, you know, cook your eggs up and then put some cheese on it. I should have heated the cheese up a little more, but it's okay. It's cool. It's good enough. Got some bologna. Dip it here in this bad boy sauce right here, man. Damn. It's just good. Now I'm going to show you what I got for my second dish. This right here is pork roast. Oven baked pork roast. As you can see some of the fat still on some of it. You got to have some of the fat on this on this uh this pot pot this pot roast because it gives you the pork roast. Oh man. That's ketchup. I like ketchup with my pork roast. Y'all probably think it's nasty, but it's not. The ketchup really brings the flavor out. Of you. you don't need the flavor cuz it's this meat's nice and tender. As you can see here, this is part of the, the broth. I like to leave a little broth. As if you try heating it up in the microwave and you just put in a slice or whatever, or, you know, just this amount right here, it's real thin and it's real dry. So you want to kind of, you know, dip it in the broth just to wet it. Get yourself some ketchup in that bad boy. Sorry I'm using my hands. I know I'm kind of filthy or have no manners. I apologize, but... uh. That's really good. But um, if you guys ever get pot roast, make sure you put some ketchup on that bad boy. And you'll like it just like that, man. Mm. Look at that pot roast right there, man. You can see the fat still on some of these pieces here, man. That's how you have to have it, man. And right here, you got picante sauce, medium. You got bologna, cheese, and eggs. And you best believe, when poor man's food, I'm going to enjoy this shit. You know, I still eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I like peanut butter and jelly. I even cut up a little banana. I put a little banana in it sometimes, you know. I like it, you know. Um, So you guys try this, man. Try this at your house, you know what I'm saying? Just And heat that bologna up too, man. You got a hot bologna. And, and instead of hot egg, ham, and cheese, you got hot bologna, egg, and cheese. And you got some paste picante sauce. Pot roast with some ketchup, and you're good to go. And then you get one diet Snapple 
raspberry tea. And that's what I got in here in this bad boy with some ice, so. Helps with your digestive system. You can go to the bathroom and stuff like that, because my diet's been sucking for the last shit couple of years, and I've been trying to maintain a healthy diet and everything like that, and I just wanted, I was just bored, so I just want to make a video and show you guys my food review, so tell me what you think. Try it at the house. Get yourself some bacane sauce, bologna, eggs, cheese, and then in here some pot roast with some ketchup, man. I'm telling you, you guys just don't know, man. This is pregnant man's food right here. Look at that. Ah, damn. This is really good, too. And that bacane sauce is really good. You dip your eggs in them, your bologna, and your cheese, man, you're good to go. Mm. Anyways, that's all I had for this today's episode of Mixing Food Together with Steve Rose and uh, Poor Man's Edition. And peace out.